Hi, welcome to Team Wooly Sheep Reviews. the same structure as the the plans but I needed I couldn't take the spa through because I needed somewhere to put the EDF motor so I bought this is a 70 mil motor in there uh, 70 mil um, EDF ducted fan uh, only runs on 4s it's a 4s fan so I've had to allow a big enough space for a 4s battery so Obviously, the, there's I haven't got such a big heavy tail weight of a motor hanging on the tail, so the centre of gravity was easier to balance. So I don't know whether you can say same thing. I've I've allowed some thin wooden veneer in there to make it a bit nicer, a bit more durable. I've set the EDF motor in the back with the speed controller in the path of the air. Well, what I did with this one is I enlarged the air duct intakes. The air is drawn in with the EDF through there and then is coming through either side through these large openings so I allowed a ducted path to bring the air through pretty much there's a slight vector in up but very 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 slight and it's the same same thing with the with the the propeller uh, version is a slight vectoring up only by about one or two mil and it flies perfectly good you don't get any issues when you throttle up and but as you can see with this one I've got the plastic on the front and if I take it off you will see I've been creative with a bit of um, bit of wood because like I said, said earlier on is the weight wasn't a, a major issue because I'm not putting any nose uh, weight anymore so I thought I'll use and this is this thin uh, Venetian blind material and this is some Depron I went a bit overboard with the with the wood but the idea was was to protect the battery so if I had a, a, a nose in uh, into that I didn't want to trash the battery so but one thing I need to do is I need to enlarge this to allow me to put uh, a larger 4s battery in there 3000 you know, 3, milliamp uh, 4s battery would probably or 3300 that's the battery I'm going to target when I modify this uh, flies okay I don't have any issues with it it actually performs better so I, but I think it could be a lot better if I had additional stabilization on a vertical on the other models I've got a spine that comes down here so what I may do is add a new piece of depth on them and, and bring it down there to give it or I might put some small wing tips on there for stabilization um, I don't like putting them on in Depron but because they'll tend to snap off I mentioned earlier on can you see the cracks there All right this is just a, a little spoiler that I've added on and that surprisingly gives it extra stability but what it does if it catches I don't know if you can see but it creates cracks so all I generally do if I get in this situation is I mix up, mix up a little bit of uh, epoxy resin and I'll dribble it in there and then I'll squeeze it up and hold it up and then wipe off and clean off the any excess with with a bit of white spirit and the repair will be invisible and that's how I generally deal with cracks like I said I get a bit of uh, um, epoxy resin and mix it up and just pour it in and let it soak in so this is my EDF version the Elevons because the Elevons are quite big 
right, I've used pinned hinges and I don't know if you can see, this, see them, but I've used pinned hinges to give me a better aileron uh, control. And inside there, because this is two um, six mil layers of Depron, I've put um, a spar in there. And then obviously I've added these pieces in there, these little plastic inserts, to give me a better control horn connection. So if I was going to make any changes besides the vertical stabilization, maybe put a bigger EDF, go 90 mil EDF and adjust the size of that rear section to take the 90. That would be a good recommendation because you'll have plenty of power then. But uh, instead this manages perfectly well. You see the video uh, of it flying. I'll send you some links and you can see it, it works superb. So highly recommend you have a go building one not difficult so I hope you liked this video and uh, you found it informative the if you go to my web page which is called Depron designs on Depron designs you can download the plans um, they originally came from a gentleman in Norway I believe who who found the plans and made them publicly available so the plans are there you can download them you can use them it's an, a nice design and get creative get modifying them build yourself an edf one so please check out depron designs and go and build yourself a vulcan and you won't be sorry because once you start you will want to build more i got three i have the the mark one i have my mark two and i've got the edf version and i love them it, it, to see something you've created fly in is spectacular is it will blow your mind that concludes the video so all i gotta say is go buy some depron and build one you will not be sorry you will love it why not subscribe you can see the button below so thank you very much hope you enjoy subscribe and see you again soon bye